Praise God, praise God, family. Uh, this is Beyond Married uh, Ministry, and we're so grateful to be with you guys tonight, uh, sharing a, a little bit of information on oneness in the marriage. Um, so let's just dive right in. Let us pray. Most Heavenly Father, we, we, we thank you for your holy word, Lord, and we thank you that you have guided us and directed us in the way that we need to go. Lord, the road is not as easy as we thought it would be, Lord. There's bumps and hills and climb mountains to climb. But with you, Lord, we can do all things. So we thank you, Father. We thank you for your for health, life, and strength. We thank you for happiness and sadness and whatever it takes for us to focus on you. We are grateful. So as we dive into this, this lesson tonight, Lord, on oneness, Lord, we thank you and pray that you just guide our steps and order our steps, Lord, into what we need to tell the people. And so we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we say, amen. 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 Well, family, we just want to dive right in. Uh, we just want to talk about uh, oneness in marriage. Um, in the beginning, God uh, made us. He brought us together. Uh, uh, and there's a scripture in Genesis that I want to read for you. Uh, Genesis 2, uh, 24 says, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined with his wife and they shall become one flesh. One flesh. One flesh. So God has called us yes. to become one flesh. And uh, we kind of mess it up. We kind of mess it up somehow yeah, along do. the way um, because the oneness is gone. It's, 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 it's like two different entities, two different people in the, in the marriage. And so we're going to share a little bit of something with you tonight and, and just talk about it real quick. Um, I wanted to I just wanted to talk about um what you what you hear when you standing before the man of God and you're getting married, you know. Uh leading up to that you you know, it was a whole lot of fun, happiness and excitement. Love, happiness, yeah, togetherness. A, a lot of excitement, you know, because uh, it's new to you, right? It's new. So um I'm gonna talk to you about this with Mike and Betty. Mike heard this in this in the beginning in in, in the vows, Mike heard do you, Mike, take the woman, this woman, Betty, to be your lawful wedded wife, to have in the whole, in sickness and in health, in, in good times and bad times, for richer and poor, uh, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you live? Mike said, I do. Then he said, Betty, do you take this man, Mike, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad? for richer and poor, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you live? Betty said, yes, without a doubt. But this is what they really meant, and this is what they really heard. <laughs> well, sometimes it gets lost in the translation, or maybe they're not fully committed to each other. They're not really looking at exactly what it means to be married mm. and, to, and to honor those, those vows. So a lot of times people jump into marriage and this is what they may hear this is when what they the really, marriage they really vows hear. have been read. This is for the husband. Do you might take this woman, Betty, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold when she is not sick and only when she's in good health, only in good times, only while the money is rolling in, and I will leave if we're poor, keeping yourself unto her only when it benefits me for as long as you both shall live. Mm. That's the exact opposite of the true vows that, that you read. Yeah. And, and, and he said, I do. Yes, he did. He so, said, I do. What did the wife say? Now for the wife, she said, it says, do you Betty take this man, Mike, to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold as long as she keeps looking the same, mm. doesn't get sick, and remains healthy, in good times only, in bad times I'm out, and for as long as he meets my need. Mm. Richer is the only option, poorer never crosses my mind, keeping yourself unto him for as long as he as he's able to supply all of my needs. Mm, isn't that so? That sounds a little selfish to me. 
But that, that's and so the realistic part of it is people think that yes. when they when they're standing before that altar and they're making those vows, those are the really what they hear. They, mm -hmm. they hear, you know, yeah, listen, I didn't, I, I don't know if I can deal with this sickness part. I don't mm -hmm. know if I can deal with, Poor you know, you, 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 you ain't got no money. You can't pay mm -hmm. for pay for my 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 Gucci bags and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. there's 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 issues and things that come up that we really don't know or really don't hear in the vows, you know? And so we, we, we turn to, oh, well, you know, you know, if she gets really, if I get really sick, will you be there to take care of me? No. Or yes. You know, mm -hmm. um, if, 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 if I lose my job, you know, will you be there to support me and help me to, to keep yeah. moving forward? Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it goes both ways, man, because we're standing in the altar and we all seeing the glitter and the lights and all the stuff, all the money mm -hmm. that we already spent. You know, that should be a telltale sign, too, is when you come in to get married and you spending thousands and thousands of dollars yes, for stuff yes, that's yes. only going to last one day. Mm -hmm. That should tell you something, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. about, you know, your future, you know, you know, marriage. When the man and the woman come together, marriage is a covenant mm. that is ordained by God. By you know, God. That means that it's a covenant that in his word. is not broken, shouldn't be broken. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not like a, a contract. When you think of a contract, that's usually between maybe a business or two parties that come together um, one is going to give the other something. And, you know, if, the other, if one part of that, um, business does not fulfill its promise, the contract is broken. Then that means that both can part ways and, and do what they need to do. But it's some, Marriage it's is not like that. Yeah. Marriage is that covenant yeah. that should remain forever and God ordained for it to be that way. So yeah. that's what we have to remember that. That covenant with, mm -hmm. with, 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 with God and the covenant between man and wife is, 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 is um, some serious business, Doc. It's, it's mm -hmm. nothing that you can just take lightly uh, you can't just get in and get out. Like she said, with a contract, you know, sometimes those contracts can be voided because of because of circumstances that are un, unbelievable. Mm. Um, but um, I it, just want to read something. Can I read something? Sure, you can. I think it, it kind of fits the uh, the lesson that we're going over today. So it reads: the union of husband and wife is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given each other in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered in unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Amen. Amen. So that leaves no open door for for somebody to leave and just say, oh, I'm going to go my separate ways. That door should not be open to do that. That's not what it was intended to do. Isn't there a saying, and I'm trying, I don't want to misquote that saying, all that glitter is not gold or something yeah. like that. You know, people, people get into marriage for all the wrong reasons. And I'm not talking about you guys who we talking to tonight, I know y'all, you know, y'all serious about them marriage. We are, you know, uh, but even in, even in a marriage that starts off with glitter, there's some trials that you're going to go through. And the word of God, if we, if we study the word of God, it keeps us grounded knowing that we will face trials and we'll face, you know, situations in marriage, you know, that keeps us stronger, you know, keeps us bound together, you know, uh, these people who who were getting married were thinking about the wrong things. You know, their yeah. their focus was not on uh, long term marriage. That's why you hear a lot of a lot of divorces. You know, even in the church, the divorce rate the last time we checked was like sixty percent divorce rate in in God's house. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Sixty yeah. percent. It might Absolutely. be more now, but Absolutely. sixty percent of people getting divorces. Because of, you know, circumstances or reason or, you know, I've heard somebody say that, you know, I, I got married, but, you know, I knew I can get out of it anytime I wanted. Mm -hmm. You right. know, you went in with the wrong attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, you went in with your mind fixed on, you know, uh, temporary things or just what I can get out of it for now. 
You know, I remember somebody getting married and it was like, I just want to have kids. You know, mm. uh, I remember I, I remember a, a, a fellow Christian was like, I know that God does frowns on 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 defiling the bed of being unmarried. So I'm going to get married just so I won't defile the bed. But, you know, it's not all about love, you know. And so he not only married one or two girls, he kept just, you know, I'm just going to marry and get a divorce, marry, get a divorce. Mm. And so as we see, people don't take it, see, that covenant serious. And that's why, you know, God is not happy with with us and in, in, in our way of doing things. Well, you know, marriage takes commitment. Mm, it does. Commitment is that, that word that, all of us need to follow it, especially if we're married. You got to be committed to your spouse. You know, that means that you're going to stick by them no matter what. No matter through thick, what. through thin, you know, through sickness, you know, through health, you know, good times and bad. You have to be there for that person. And it's not like you you just turning in one spouse for another spouse, mm -hmm. thinking that, you know, it's, it's going to be, be better. better. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's, it's really not better. I mean, when that happens, I think sometimes you need to look at you or yeah. maybe you're the cause of, of all the problems that are going on, you know, in the marriage. And you're never going to be happy bouncing back, bouncing around like that, you know. Um, and, and to be honest with you, we all have, you know, had our eyes, you know, open to other things and other women or other men, you know, but, but ex when you, when you acknowledge and learn how, what God says about marriage and when he, he says, when we come together, we're, we're, we're one, you know, one flesh, you know, it, it's a, like, it's like a connection it, to me uh, is, you know, I love it sometimes when me and my wife, you know, we can be in different rooms or different areas and thinking about the same thing. You know, I was just thinking about this. What are you talking about? I'm like, this is, it's, it's weird, to be honest with you. It's weird to to know that that connection, that oneness, it goes beyond the flesh. You know, it's mm -hmm. a spiritual thing, you know. And mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're married and you take those vows and you connect spiritually, it's beyond comprehension and it's yeah. beyond uh, a contract. It's a mm -hmm. covenant. And mm -hmm. a covenant is, is a spiritual connection. The same thing we have with God, we, we, we he, he made a covenant with us and we made a covenant with him to follow him and to live, to live according to his holy word. Is that what you're doing? Absolutely. Are you living according to that word? Absolutely. You know, and, and, and we encourage each other. You know, we, we, we might get upset at each other. You know, I, I know we, I get on her nerves, you know, sometimes, you know, <laughs> very little, but um, we, we still come back and we, we, we still love each other. That don't go nowhere, you know. That 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 oneness don't go nowhere because you're still here. It's not like oh, I'm mad at you. I'm going to find me somebody else. I, mm -hmm. I I don't have that thought in my in my mind. Is is mm -hmm. this is it? You know, uh, this is it. And um, I thank God for this this being it. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know. So yeah, yeah. I heard Absolutely. when I heard God say to me, He said, that, you know, when you take her to, to love and to hold and sickness and in health. The good times and bad times, rich or poor, I took that to be very, very serious, you yeah. know. And and, and and my life is her life, and and I, I believe she, her life is my life. And you know, we when we're sad, we both sad. When we're happy, we're both happy. We mm -hmm. we laugh, we cry, you know. We we come together and we share. You know, one of the main things that we do, and I love it, is that we get into God's word, and we have that. Uh, that vertical connection with God. Yes. You know, and, absolutely. and everything we do, you know, we're not just, I'm not just saying this to be saying it, you know, it's not, it's not, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you call those things? People just say stuff, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's serious because I take this, this walk with God serious mm -hmm. and I'm not going to live down here and, and, and live any old kind of way and have to stand before God and make excuses. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I, I get into the word. She gets into the word. We pray. We pray. You know, sometimes we pray together. Sometimes we don't. We pray, but we still pray. We stay focused, focused in the word of God. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. that's, that's, there's no doubt about that. So, um, take your vows serious family. That's the bottom Absolutely. line. You know, we're, we're, cause we're joined together as one flesh, you know, mm. and it's a, tr it's a try a triangle because God is the head. God you yes. know, and so 
uh, a threefold cord is not easily broken. That's right. So as long as God is in your life, and as long as you love Hold on to that cord. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. And it's stronger. Stay strong. in his word and just trust and believe. Yes. Because God makes all things happen. All things are possible with God. That's it. That's you right. know, if you do not give up. Mm -hmm. You know, our marriages have to mirror that of Christ and the bride, his church. Yeah. You know, we yeah. really need to, to remember that and to keep that in our hearts. And that can help us to be committed and just to, to stay for the long haul and, you know, never give up. Never give up. That's what we have to do. Yeah, so that's very, up. very important. Yeah. Never so, give up. So, family, we, we our time is about running out. And we just thank you for just giving us the opportunity to come into your house and mm -hmm. share a word. Uh, we're, we're excited for the Beyond Married ministry. Uh, next time we come together, which uh, will be in a couple of weeks, uh, come out and join with us. Join us and just... Learn about oneness. Learn about God. Learn about, you know, and we all go mm -hmm. through stuff. And so sometimes we share things in the, in that group that can help somebody in their marriage. You know, That's listen, right. we all, we, we're we not talking about a Harriet and... Uh, uh, Ozzy and Harriet? Uh, Ozzy and Harriet marriage okay. or Bill Cosby and his wife marriage. We go through some stuff, <laughs> you know. But what we do do to come together is we trust God in our Yes, space. absolutely. So we give you honor. Absolutely. We give him honor. We give him praise and all he does. Yes. You know, uh, you want to pray us out? Yeah, so we just thank you for, thank for you. being with us tonight. And we just look forward to fellowshipping with you again. And if you need us, or you need the Jacksons, Bruce and Kim, just reach out. We're here yes, to help you. Yes, ma'am. So, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the information that we were able to provide today. Lord, we pray that it blesses some couple, some marriage, so that they don't give up, Lord. That they stay committed and believe in you, Father. Father, please continue to watch over us. Please bless our pastor, Pastor Harris, Pastor Todd, Pastor Don and all of the Lord's house family, Father. And we look forward to meeting you once again. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. That's uh, it from Beyond Married. Beyond Married. Beyond Married. Deuces. <laughs>